What's up guys, today I'm gonna to give you the secret to winning poker tournaments, what the top pros don't want you to know. Let's jump into it right now. All right guys, so point number one is don't play tight. You need to forget what they told you. You need to understand that tight is not right if your goal is to actually win poker tournaments. And I'm gonna talk about exactly why in today's video and tell you exactly what kind of hands you should be playing as well. So you make sure you stick around so you know exactly what to do. So guys, if your goal is to, you know, get a min cash every single time, if you enjoy playing poker for eight hours in the tournament, just so you can, you know, maybe the tournament was $100 to buy in and you just get your $100 back. If that is a good use of your eight hours for you, you just get your min cash and then get eliminated because your stack is tiny. Uh, I would just shut this video off right now because I'm not speaking to a person like that. I'm speaking to a person watching this video who actually wants to win the poker tournament, who wants to turn their $100 into $10 thousand dollars and not just be an average poker player like everyone else and waste eight hours just to win a hundred dollars back for me that's not why i play poker i'm assuming for you as well and this is the biggest secret that quite frankly the pros don't want you to know is that you need to play lag loose and aggressive if you want to win a poker tournament and the reason why is because you need to build a chip stack you guys need to understand that chips are a weapon in a poker tournament i get so many of my students and people just email me and stuff all the the time comments saying oh I always get abused by the big stacks in tournaments and they always get lucky and so on and my answer guys is why don't you just be the big stack like that is actually just the answer is if you had a big stack, uh, then every single time you get quote unquote unlucky, well, you'd have more chips to stay in the tournament. So guys, I'm not one of those people who likes to take the victim mentality at the poker table in life or anything. Let's fix the things that we actually control. Let's get in there and build a stack. So let me talk about next what playing loose and aggressive actually means. So what I mean by playing loose aggressive is that in the early stages of the tournaments, the first say two, three levels, you actually get in there and you start playing a lot more speculative hands or remotely playables as I'm going to discuss right here and you forget what all the so-called experts told you to just you know play tight and bide your time and, and all that nonsense because that is not how you actually win a poker tournament as I said we need to get in there and we need to start building a stack how do you build a stack it's not by sitting around waiting for aces and kings and ace king guys so you need to get in there pre-flop and start raising and re-raising with hands like a seven of hearts six five of spades by the way the suits don't really matter you can play six five of diamonds ten eight of diamonds pocket fives nine eight suited ace three suited i think you guys get the idea i call these hands the rps arps if you want anything remotely playable guys you need to be getting in there mixing it up and getting involved because once again we do not win poker tournaments by sitting around waiting for our chip stack to get blinded down remember a tournament is not like a cash game. You can't just sit there and wait for the best hands to come to you because you're paying the blinds every single time and slowly getting your chip stack whittled down. You can't reload in a tournament. So we need to get involved, guys. Let's move on to point number two, and that is to abuse the bubble. Now, the bubble is the point when all the weak type players who've been, you know, sitting around waiting for their aces, they've got a tiny little chip stack because, again, they've been sitting around waiting for their good hands, which never comes. So now we're on the bubble. The bubble is the point, by the way, where the first min cash, the first payouts start happening. So they're trying to get their $100 back now. They've already paid for eight hours. And now you, as somebody who's built up a big chip stack at this point, is now going to abuse that. The heck out of these tight fearful and risk averse players because they're not going to get their money in unless they have a very very strong hand in other words they won't risk their tournament life you want to be putting them to the test again and again and again and yes sometimes they're going to wake up with their ace king and they're going to shove all in on you and you've got something crappy like 10 7 or something just fold but guys the bottom line is you have to put relentless pressure especially on the medium stacks i'm talking about players who have a chip stack of between 10 big blinds and say around 30 big blinds. Don't pick on the guys that only have five big blinds because they're gonna go all in with anything at that point. You want to pick on those small to medium sized stacks 
that are tight, they're fearful, they don't want to get eliminated right now, you can literally win the poker tournament right now by abusing the crap out of these players. Let's move on to point number three, which is to simply own the final table. Guys, you need to put everyone on notice when you make it to the final table that you are there for one reason and one reason only, and that is to get first place, not second place, not third place, not seventh place. You're there for first place only. And I hope you guys can see that that is my entire mentality actually at every single stage of the tournament. I, again, I'm not there to play eight hours just to get my $100 back. I'm there to get first place, to win 10 grand, 100 grand, a million. I think you guys understand what I'm talking about. So once again, you need to put relentless pressure, especially on the tight, fearful, smaller stacks at the final table and let them know that you're not afraid to get all the money in with your ace king, your ace queen, your ace jack, and, and go for a coin flip in a situation like that. Guys, you need to understand that these players are gonna fold to you again and again and again. And this is all through, not just at the final table, but throughout the entire tournament. And this is how you build your chip stack up. And this is literally free money because they don't even have a chance to win when they fold again and again and again. You just keep slowly chipping away from them again and again and again. And when they find their, their pocket kings and shove on you, you just fold, it's not a big deal. So guys, you absolutely have to bring this mentality to the final table as well. Make people know that you are there to run the show. You are not there to play tight and try to, you know, wait for people to get eliminated. You are there to win. Remember guys, in a poker tournament, all the money is at the very, very top. That's why we're there. We're not there to get eighth place, all right? So the next thing you need to know at the final table is to say politely, no thanks to any deal discussions. This is usually gonna happen when there's about five people left at the table. And and you should politely say, no, thank you. I'd like to keep playing, thanks. And at that point, there is no further discussion that can go on. Now, I always wanna make a quick disclaimer here that if you happen to be at the final table, of the main event of the World Series of Poker, and it's literally life-changing money, millions and millions of dollars for you, and you're not a, a multi-millionaire yourself, and this money would mean a lot, okay. I think we should discuss a deal in a situation like that, but most of you guys that are watching this video, the difference between $10,000 and $20,000 is not going to change your life. So you should always play for first place, guys, and do not take one of these little chip deals where you know everyone gets sort of their equity when there's five players left or something. No, screw that. You are there to win the poker tournament. You wanna to get first place. So guys, bottom line, when you enter a poker tournament, your mentality should be to dominate and steamroll the competition, whether you're in the early stages, middle stages, the bubble, the final table at all stages of the tournament, guys. You need to play for first place and nothing else. This is the biggest reason why most tournament players are not successful over the long run is, is because they do not have this mentality of burn the boats and get in there and take chances to win. Now, a lot of people will tell me, oh, but Nathan, I'm, I'm gonna get eliminated so much. Who cares? Again, it's not worth playing eight hours just to get your money back. I'd rather get eliminated in the first hour by playing my loose aggressive of style or get the, to the final table and win tens of thousands of dollars. I don't want to waste my time in there for eight hours just to get a min cash. So if that's what you guys are after as well, I, I would highly recommend taking this sink or swim attitude to the poker table. Play for first place, play for the win, always get in there, get involved, build a big trip stack and put relentless pressure on all of these tight, fearful people, which is the vast majority of them. And I think you're going to have a lot more success in poker tournaments. So guys, make sure you like and subscribe the video if you found this one helpful. Also grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.